As we dive into SpaceX's rapid development journey, one thing stands out above all. Speed. Speed in innovation, speed in execution. This pace is driven by the company's relentless pursuit of pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Following the successful catch of the Super Heavy booster, SpaceX wasted no time and immediately started discussing new versions of Starship, each packed with upgrades that promised to enhance its already impressive capabilities. From new catching mechanisms to groundbreaking designs, the next evolution of Starship is already on the horizon. In this episode, we'll explore the new upgrades SpaceX has planned for Starship and examine how these improvements will impact the future of space exploration only on Great SpaceX. Let's first turn our attention to the recent test flights. The S-30 prototype played a pivotal role in Flight 5's success, showcasing impressive advancements. But as is often the case with cutting-edge technology, there's still room for improvement. So what exactly can we expect from the next generation of Starship? In the recent test flight, the S-30 prototype was pivotal to the success of Flight 5 working in tandem with the B-12 booster. Thanks to improvements in the heat shield system, S-30 performed admirably throughout most of its journey, opening up exciting possibilities for full catching attempts in the future. However, as with all cutting-edge technology, there are still some challenges to overcome. Toward the end of the flight, the flap joint experienced burns, though less severe than in previous tests. This indicates that while design upgrades have already proven beneficial, further refinements are still needed. Since the version 1 prototypes are near completion, implementing drastic changes to the current design would be difficult at this stage. This is where the focus shifts to the V2 versions, which will incorporate more significant upgrades. Speaking of next-gen, the V2 prototypes are already making waves. With S33 and S34 leading the charge, they bring some exciting updates to the table. One area in particular that's seeing a lot of change is the forward flaps. Musk has been hinting at these adjustments for a while, and now we're finally seeing them come to life. The first of the V2 prototypes, S33 and S34, have already been produced and they introduce several notable design changes, particularly concerning the forward flaps. Musk had been teasing these changes as far back as 2021 when he mentioned that forward flaps will change a lot in upcoming versions of Starship, smaller and more leeward. However, despite those discussions, the new flap design wasn't applied to the later V1 models. After the issues encountered with the flaps in Flight 4, this design revision resurfaced. Musk elaborated, stating that a new version of Starship would shift the forward flaps leeward, improving reliability, ease of manufacturing, and payload capacity to orbit. Recently, Musk provided more context, I'm so glad we finally fixed the forward flap design. The old one was killing me. It was too large and heavy, positioned at 180 degrees, which caused issues during the high heating hypersonic phase of flight. The new design solves those problems. Now, what makes these forward flaps so important? The new smaller flap design is a game changer for Starship. These changes will not only improve maneuverability during flight, but also boost overall reliability. Let's take a closer look at the advantages this new design brings to the table. While the V2 forward flap is significantly smaller, reducing the static aerodynamic demands that affect navigation and the critical flip maneuver during descent, this design minimizes the risk of damage during flight and simplifies manufacturing, which will increase operational flexibility. In terms of shape, the edges of the flap have been adjusted to improve aerodynamic impact. Its position has been optimized by moving it closer to the top of the ship, enhancing directional control during flight. Unlike the older design, where the flaps were symmetrically placed at 180 degrees, the new configuration shifts the flaps leeward to about 120 to 140 degrees. This positioning offers better protection during atmospheric re-entry, reducing the potential for damage like what was observed in Flight 4. These changes are expected to improve both the efficiency and reliability of one of the Starship's most sensitive systems, making future flights safer and more predictable. But it's not just the flaps that are seeing improvements. SpaceX is also reinforcing critical areas like the joints and heat shields. These upgrades are vital for protecting the ship during re-entry and ensuring the vehicle's longevity. The joint between the flap and the ship has been optimized, becoming smaller while maintaining its effectiveness in reducing impact forces. Meanwhile, the upgraded heat shield has demonstrated its ability to protect the ship during re-entry in recent tests. 
However, more improvements are expected to ensure the ship can withstand the extreme conditions of space and reentry consistently. If SpaceX can ensure the reliability of these systems, the chances of successfully catching the ship post-flight will greatly increase. Achieving full reusability for Starship is a critical milestone for SpaceX, and these upgrades represent the next steps toward that goal. And if you think the upgrades stopped there, <laughs> think again. SpaceX has even bigger plans for the future, and I mean that literally. The concept of Starship 2.0 has resurfaced, with Elon Musk hinting at a massive new version of the rocket. Twice the diameter of the current model, this colossal spacecraft could revolutionize space travel as we know it. In a recent conversation on X, Musk confirmed that the idea of an even larger starship, which he first revealed in 2019, is still very much on the table. 2.0 would be massive, with a diameter of 18 meters, double the 9 meter diameter of the current starship. It's almost impossible to grasp the scale of a rocket that large. This next generation system would dwarf even NASA's Sea Dragon, which was considered one of the largest rocket concepts ever planned. The advantages of Starship 2.0 would be monumental, especially in terms of payload capacity and efficiency for Mars missions. Musk has repeatedly emphasized that sending large amounts of cargo to Mars will require thousands of flights over the next decade. Starship 2.0 could dramatically reduce that number, allowing for fewer trips with greater payloads, but what would it take to build such a behemoth? Building a rocket of this magnitude will require serious upgrades, especially when it comes to engine power. As SpaceX continues to refine its Raptor engines, the next-gen Starship could push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. But what will it take to bring Starship 2.0 to life? While Raptor 2 engines currently power the V1 prototypes, future versions are expected to use the Raptor 3 engines, which will offer even more power. A rocket the size of Starship 2.0 will need much more powerful engines. Musk has already mentioned that future engine upgrades could increase thrust as high as 330 tons per engine. With 33 engines, that would result in a total thrust surpassing 10,000 tons. If SpaceX decides to increase the number of engines further, the thrust could reach unprecedented levels, providing Starship 2.0 with the power necessary for interplanetary travel. The Starship vacuum version, designed for operations in space, would likely see significant upgrades as well, ensuring the ship can carry out long-duration missions. The real question is, would this power be enough for a next-gen Starship? So, what does the future hold for SpaceX? Whether it's refining today's prototypes or creating a giant next-gen rocket, SpaceX's priority remains the same. Mastering full reusability. If they can achieve this with the current versions, we're in for a spectacular display of innovation. But the real question is, what comes after that? If SpaceX succeeds in catching both stages, the new launch pad will need to be truly enormous, tall enough to accommodate stacking, launching, and landing operations. Such a launch pad would undoubtedly be an engineering marvel, capable of supporting the immense scale and power of future Starship launches. Can you imagine watching Starship 2.0 land back on Earth after a successful mission to Mars? The scale of that event would be unprecedented in human history. In the meantime, SpaceX is focused on achieving full reusability with the current V1 versions. Two more test pairs remain, S31B13 and S32B14. Musk has hinted that SpaceX may attempt to catch Starship as early as next year, likely using these V1 prototypes. With just two V1 pairs remaining, SpaceX is preparing for the ultimate test, catching Starship. Musk has indicated that this could happen as early as next year, and that will mark a turning point in the company's journey toward full reusability. So what can we expect from these crucial upcoming tests? Many have wondered why SpaceX continues to pursue catching attempts with the V1 prototypes, which don't include the new upgrades planned for V2. The answer lies in the need to prove critical systems like the heat shield before moving on to the next phase of development. Even if the current designs don't succeed in every test, they provide invaluable data that will help SpaceX refine the V2 models and push closer to full reusability. The next big leap could come as soon as Flight 6 or 7. While these flights carry risk, successful tests will pave the way for even more ambitious goals, including in-space refueling, lunar missions, and eventually journeys to Mars. And that brings us to the end of today's episode. We are on the brink of something extraordinary, a new era in space exploration. The company's speed in developing and upgrading its technology is unmatched. Over the next few months, we'll see a series of groundbreaking missions, crazy upgrades, and unprecedented advancements in rocket science. 
Starship V2, and eventually Starship 2.0, will be at the heart of this revolution. As we look forward to what's next, one thing is certain. SpaceX is pushing the boundaries like never before. Are you ready for what's coming? That wraps up today's episode of Great SpaceX. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, keep looking up, because the future of space exploration is about to reach new heights.